Uh, Takashi Murakami is a contemporary or modern um, artist. He was born in 1962, that makes him 58 years old, in um, Tokyo, Japan. He received a BFA, an MFA, and a PhD from the Tokyo University of Arts. Um, he coined the term super flat, and I'm going to show you an example of what super flat means. So here's one of his uh, paintings. It's acrylic on canvas, and if you look carefully, there's lots of skulls. It's all skulls. But what makes it interesting is that his artwork, even though it includes skulls and things that normally would be dark, he does it in a cartoon-like way. He also, unlike Picasso, he's sort of the opposite. He does everything um, what he calls super flat, meaning it doesn't have any depth. Even when his pictures are on a, around a ball, a sphere, like you see here, it's still a flat image. There's no depth, there's no corners, um, it's flat, flat, flat. Super flat art is characterized by outlines, flat colors, lack of perspective, and three-dimensional depth. So unlike Picasso, who liked the three-dimensional depth and had three-dimensional depth, uh, uh, Murakami did not. He was the opposite. So that's where he came up with the word um, super flat, which he kind of coined. Murakami's first and most celebrated character is Mr. Dobb, and he's re he was revealed in 1992. This mouse-like mascot appears throughout his work in many different styles and colors, but he's always recognizable by his giant eyes, grinning face, and two ears. The left ear has the letter D, and the right ear has the letter B. Mr. Dobb's name comes from the Japanese phrase dobojite, which means why. And the question reflects Murakami's puzzled view of consumer society. What that means is he was very puzzled, un unsure, interested, doesn't un didn't understand, doesn't understand why society is so obsessed with consumerism. Consumerism is the protection of the rights and interests of a general population of buyers. So what it means is it's basically an, ex an obsession with shopping and acquiring stuff. That would be an example of consumerism. Consumerism is buying the latest uh, game or the latest toy or the latest fashion, something that's really popular that people consume that they purchase in mass quantities. And that's what was so interesting to him. So in the handout, which is a notice, I have lots of examples of Murakami art that was done by students. I have a template in there, so you can just screenshot it and put it into Klecky or whatever program you're using, or you can design your own, or um, it's really whatever you want. But the idea here is to use bright colors to have a flat um, depth to your artwork, nothing that looks three-dimensional, everything should look fat, flat. So colorful, flat, and a lot of repetition, um, whether it's a repetition of skulls or eyes or flowers. And again, you can make your own design or you can use one of his designs. So there are student examples in the handout and I'm going to show them to you now. Um, and that should give you some ideas.